October 24th, 2024, Thursday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine, by the power at work within us, to him be glory in the Church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my strength until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two, and two against three. A father will be divided against his son, and a son against his father. A mother against her daughter, and a daughter against her mother. A mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> 